Canelo Triple G was an event that lived up to its promise. Canelo came out looking very loose and relaxed, establishing position early, utilizing a combination of attacks, and employing a great defense. When Triple G tried to swing, Canelo put the matrix on him and answered with solid counters. Even when Triple G did land a power shot, Canelo took it well and kept his poise. But while Canelo shined early, Triple G applied the pressure throughout, dictating the pace, sticking his jab, and draining the energy of his younger opponent. But Canelo was able to slip away, winning enough late rounds to earn himself the draw. The next time around, both men promised a result that will leave zero doubt. For Canelo, it all begins with conditioning. It was clear he gassed out early, but with a full tank of gas, he could control the center of the ring more effectively. Turn his defense into offense with sharp counters. Last year, I said Canelo would be crazy to fight Triple G off the ropes. And I was right. Perception matters in boxing, with the judges and the fans. So Canelo needs to fight all three minutes of every round. Because Triple G will bring the pressure again. But for Gennady, the real challenge is this. He needs to become unpredictable. In the first fight, he barely attacked the body. Triple G needs to target Canelo's ribcage early to seal his fate in the late rounds and he has to do a better job cutting off the ring. Canelo was able to slip out the back door and buy himself time to recover. Like I said, the fight delivered what it promised. An absolute war that forced both men to dig deep and show their true character. But it didn't settle who's best. We'll need to see it one more time to answer that question.